So today I want to show you around Da Nang, Vietnam. I want to break down exactly what it costs to live here for a month. I think it's going to be a lot cheaper than you would even expect. So first thing I want to do is show you how we live here in Da Nang. So let's go check out my house. Renting a house or apartment is by far going to be your biggest expense. So you're looking at a range of about $300 a month on the low end to maybe $800 a month on the high end. For most people, four to $500 a month is gonna be more than enough for what you need. So we'll start with a quick little house tour. We'll see what we're kind of working with here. For this place, I pay $600 a month, but it's a three bedroom house close to the beach, maybe 10 minute walk from the beach. Simple kitchen, simple little living room place to hang out. One of these bedrooms is my working room. I can play some music in here. I can work on the computer. And then there's two more bedrooms upstairs. Tons of natural light comes in. Nice balcony in the bedroom. The sunshine comes in early in the morning. So overall, I'm really happy with this place. It's definitely more than I need. So I think I'm getting a really good value for $600 a month. Most people can spend four or $500 a month for one, maybe even two bedroom apartments right next to the beach. On top of that, you're gonna pay another $50 or so for all of your bills, electricity, water, Wi-Fi. So that's the living situation here in Da Nang. It's pretty reasonable. So now let me show you how we're gonna get around town. When you first arrive to Vietnam, you're gonna have to find a bike. Most people are gonna end up renting a bike for about 30 or $40 a month, and that's fine while you're getting settled in. If you rent a bike for about a year, you've already paid the price of the bike. So I recommend buying a bike once you're comfortable after a few months. For about four or $500, you're gonna get a bike that you don't have to worry about. So for now, let's take a cruise. We're gonna hit up the local market. I wanna talk about some options for food. So the market is by far going to be the cheapest way to get groceries. And you can see it's always super busy, it's always packed. The market has everything you need, fruits, vegetables, meats. It can be a little bit intimidating at first, but it's always fun to come to the market, talk to the aunties. You'll get the hang of it really quick. It helps if you can speak a little bit of Vietnamese. If the market seems a little too intense for you, don't worry, there's big grocery stores just like anywhere else in the world. But I recommend coming to the market, get some basic fruits and vegetables just for the experience. I'll usually come once every few days. I can spend about $10 and get a bunch of fruit and vegetables that I'll use for meals for the next few days. Just for reference, I got all of this from the market for less than $5 total. If you're living in Vietnam, you're gonna be eating out for Vietnamese food a lot. And there's a lot of options, so I guarantee you're gonna find something that you fall in love with. This is one of my favorites. This is Kham Suan Op Lai. So this is rice and a pork chop with an egg on top. I always order a little bit extra crispy pork on the side. This is Pit Hat Play. Comes with some salad. There's always free tea and water, so you don't even have to pay for an extra drink. So a meal like this is gonna cost about 50K, 60K, so a little over $2 maybe. So Vietnamese meals will always run around maybe one to $3. You could never cook at home, eat out for every meal, and you're still not gonna spend very much money. Oh yeah. Hmm. If you wanna know more about Vietnamese food, I've got a lot of videos about different meals in Vietnam. So definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm super small trying to grow, so I appreciate your help, thanks. All right, it's a brand new morning here. We're gonna start the day the way we start every day, with a coffee. It's about 50 cents for a coffee and a mango smoothie, about a dollar for a smoothie. So I prefer getting it from the little corner sidewalk joints. So we're gonna get some of this rocket fuel in us and then we'll head back down to the beach. If you're gonna be living in a beach town, you're probably gonna to wanna to get fit, right? So the Vietnamese are super active, so there's a lot of options. You can't go very far in Vietnam without finding some dip bars or pull-up bars for free on the sidewalk or in a park. And you've also got a giant free pool over here. 
Now, if you're looking for a more serious gym, there's plenty of good options for that too. I go to this place, it's about $30 a month. It's probably the nicest gym in Da Nang. It's got everything you can imagine. All the machines, all the weights. You can see it's pretty much dead every time I'm in there. Nobody goes to the gym. It's even got a little functional area. You can run on the track here. Free yoga classes. Super nice pool and sauna area. Even an ice bath. And this thing is serious cold. It's so nice. Another way I like to treat myself is called Goi Do. So Goi Do in Vietnamese means shampoo the head. But it's really more like a 30 minute head and neck massage. So it's only gonna cost about $2. So it's a great way to relax. Your hair will never be so clean in your entire life. It's the best $2 you'll ever spend. So one of the last things you might be worried about is going out for drinks and nightlife, stuff like that. Of course, you're gonna wanna have a few drinks on the weekend. Like everything else, drinking is cheaper in Vietnam than in Western countries. At local Vietnamese places, you can pay less than a dollar for a beer. If you're more comfortable with Western style bars and pubs, you might be looking at two or three dollars for a beer. Right now, I'm having a big pint of beer for two dollars right on the beach. You can't really beat that. Of course, there's gonna be more expensive clubs and fancy places on the beach where drinks will be a little bit closer to Western prices, but in general, should be doing all right. All right, so I think we've covered most of the basics. On average, let's say about $500 a month is gonna get you a good place to live. Let's add another 50 for your bills, utilities, things like that. Let's say another 50 is gonna be renting a motorbike and gas, stuff like that, no problem. The thing that might vary the most for people is gonna be food. You know, depending on where you're getting your food from the market or the grocery store and how often you're going out for food. But I'd say $200 a month is safe for groceries and going out for a few meals a week. Western food, for example, is always gonna be three to four times the price of a Vietnamese meal. If you're gonna be eating a lot of Western food, you're gonna spend a lot more money. So that brings us to about $800 a month. Another $200 a month might cover going out for drinks on the weekends, maybe a gym membership for $20 or $30 a month. So that's being pretty conservative, but I think it's pretty safe to say you can live for under $1,000 a month in Da Nang. If we're thinking about the other cities in Vietnam, Hanoi is gonna be a little bit more expensive than Da Nang. I'd say maybe $1,200 a month will cover all the basics and Saigon is gonna be the most expensive, so thinking maybe about $1,500 a month. For me personally, I'm spending less than $1,000 a month to cover all the basics. Of course, traveling on the weekends, going to other cities in Asia, that's all money on top. But $1,000 a month is gonna cover your living situation and your food and even basic things like gym membership and your motorbike, stuff like that. So $1,000 a month, tell me where else in the world you can live in a place like this for less than $1,000 a month. I don't think it exists. I think Vietnam's the best quality of life relative to price in the entire world. If you've got any questions about living in Vietnam or traveling to Vietnam, leave a comment, hit me up, and I'll catch you in the next video over here. Peace.